365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each year. Let's see what God has in store for you today. Today is a new day and a new week. Our title for this reading is, We Belong to Him. Let's start with a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us another week to start. Thank you, God, for always seeking us and always having a message for us. Please, God, help us understand what you want to tell us. In the name of Jesus, amen. You are my flock and the flock of my pasture. You are men and I am your God, says the Lord God. Ezekiel 34, 31. On one occasion, I stayed at her house. They gave me a bed that was near the patio door. After a long and exhausting day, I ate dinner and went to rest. I fell soundly asleep. But close to dawn, a cold breeze woke me up. I realized that the patio door was open and the cold night air was creeping in. I got up half asleep to close it. When I reached the door, I heard a cry that came from the darkness of the night. I went out to the backyard to see what was going on. It was the owner of the house who was kneeling and crying. I could hear part of her prayer. She was asking God for forgiveness for the abortion attempt that she had carried out. I knelt beside her and there she told me what was tormenting her. She had gotten pregnant and already had several children. The economic situation was difficult for the family and one additional person would complicate things. Therefore, she sought advice from her friends who told her that it was better to terminate the pregnancy and advise her to take insecticide. She prepared everything, and one day she took a bottle of a common insecticide on the market. When they took her to the hospital and gave her first aid, they were able to save her life and that of the baby. When the moment arrived to give birth, she was still terrified. The little girl was born and everything was apparently okay. As time went by, she knew that there was a problem with the baby's vision. At a very young age, she was prescribed glasses to help with her vision. The young lady became the secretary of the church. She was very consecrated to the service of God. Behind the thick glasses, she had the most beautiful blue eyes that I have ever seen. Occasionally, her vision would give her problems. Upon seeing this, her mother would be overcome with guilt for the suffering she had caused her daughter. We prayed confessing the mistake and asked her for, for mercy. Whenever I spoke to the young lady, she was always cheerful and thankful to God. She always told me, I am a weak sheep of God. He has taken care of me since my childhood. He is my God and my shepherd. God can draw a beautiful story even from the most horrendous mistakes. Place yourself in His hands today. He is telling you, you belong to me. I am in control of your story.